In our previous lesson, we chatted about the accounting equation. Assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities. We also looked at each of these elements on their own, what they mean and which accounts fall under assets, which accounts fall under owner's equity and which accounts fall under liabilities. I asked you to learn this list out of your head, not by learning it parrot fashion, but by reading through out loud 10 times a day this entire list and eventually it will sink into your head. I hope you've done that because otherwise the next bit is going to be very difficult. It might help you to have a printout of this list from your class notes in front of you just to help you in the beginning and the more you use this list the easier it's going to become to remember these accounts. We're going to take this class example and see how each transaction affects the accounting equation. Now every transaction has a double entry. It's called the double entry principle. Every transaction has a double effect. One of the effects is where did the money come from and the other side of the effect is where did the money go or what was the money used for. When we fill each transaction in on the accounting equation we're going to check every single time if the accounting equation works, if it balances. Are my assets equal to my owner's equity plus my liabilities? Let's start with the first transaction. The owner contributes 100,000 Rand to the business. Now the owner is contributing money, so therefore the money is going into the bank. Bank falls under assets, therefore my assets will be increasing. When the owner contributes something, this is an owner transaction, so it falls under owner's equity, and we are doing the books from the business perspective. So when the business is receiving money and it's an owner transaction, we know it's capital because a Owner transaction is either capital or drawings, so money in is capital, money out is drawings. This is money in, so owner's equity is increasing. We are not doing the owner's books, his pocket is decreasing, but the business's pocket is increasing. And remember, if the business is doing well, the owner is also doing well. Check your accounting equation if you're also not sure. Assets increase with 100,000. That was easy enough. Make sure that the owner's equity shows the same. Remember, assets must equal owner's equity plus liabilities. So if the assets are increasing, then owner's equity must also increase. Remember that a plus is not equal to a minus. A plus is only equal to another plus. Let's look at the second transaction. You buy equipment for 50,000 Rand cash. Where did the money come from? I took it out of my bank, which is an asset, and my assets will be decreasing. I bought equipment. And equipment also falls under assets. So let's have a look. My bank is decreasing, therefore my assets are decreasing. My equipment, however, is increasing, and more equipment means more assets. Whether you do these on two separate lines, plus 50,000, minus 50,000, or whether you put in plus or a minus for 50,000, doesn't matter. Both are correct. Your accounting equation balances, you are increasing and decreasing your assets, therefore effectively there was no change, and that is equal to no change to equity or liabilities. Remember this is not counting, this is not maths. The pluses and minuses are not positive or negative numbers. The pluses indicate that the assets increased, or a minus indicates that the assets, or whatever, decreased. It is not a positive number and therefore you can leave off the plus. Please remember that you will lose marks if you do not put your pluses and minuses in. A plus indicates an increase and a minus indicates a decrease. The third transaction. You pay the first month's rent, 2,000 Rand. So again, the source of the funds is that the money is coming out of the bank. You are paying the first month's rent. So therefore your cash will decrease and therefore assets will also decrease. Now we say, what was the money for? The money was for rent. Now rent, you will pay for and not get anything back. And therefore it's an expense item. And if you learnt your list, you know it's an expense. So either through the definition or through your list, rent is an expense. If you have more expenses, how does this affect the owner's equity, the owner's wealth, the owner's back pocket? He will have less profits to take home. More expenses mean less profits. So therefore owner's equity will decrease, the owner's wealth will decrease. Check your accounting equation. Minus 2000 is equal to minus 2000. So if you're not too sure what the second entry is, do the one that's easier. Like bank decreases, decreases your assets. That's easy. 
Equals means the same as, so therefore the other sign must also be a minus. With every transaction, check that your accounting equation balances. Our next transaction, you buy stationery on credit for a thousand rand. Now if you've learnt your list, stationery is also an expense. Please remember this is not stationery on hand at the end of the year. This is stationery bought with the intention to use it. If you've opened the stationery box, taken the paper out and put it in your printer, you can no longer return it. It is now money gone. You will not get money back. So remember, stationery is an expense when you buy it and use it. The only time it's an asset is when it's on hand at the end of the financial year. That will only be used when we do year-end adjustments. So just like rent, stationery is an expense. More stationery, more expenses. The column heading is not stationery. The column heading is not expenses. The column heading is owner's equity. How does more expenses affect your owner? More bad stuff is bad for the owner. So bad is minus. Decreasing the owner's wealth. If he has to spend money on stationery, he is losing profits. And we paid for the stationery for cash. No, we bought it on credit. So therefore my liabilities will increase. When I buy something on credit, I owe my creditor. And therefore I owe more and my liabilities will increase. Let's quickly check if the accounting equation works. There was no change to my assets. Is that equal to no change in equity and liabilities? A decrease under owner's equity of 1,000 Rand? An increase under liabilities of 1,000 Rand? Minus, plus, they cancel each other out. So yes, your accounting equation does balance. Something minus 1,000, add back the 1,000, brings you back to zero. Let's try the next transaction, number five. You buy stock for cash, 1,500 Rand. You are buying stock. Now the account name for stock is trading inventory. Trading inventory falls under assets. That is what the money was used for. You bought it for cash, therefore bank is the source of the money. Where did the money come from? I took it out of my bank. Both those accounts are assets. My assets decrease. Easy one, I'm paying for something, so therefore my bank is decreasing, and therefore my assets are decreasing. What is the money used for? I am buying stock, trading inventory, which is an asset, and that means my assets are increasing. I'm pretty much exchanging one asset for another, just like number two. And therefore, the net effect on assets is zero, but they have increased with one five, and they have decreased with one five, and there's no effect on equity or liabilities. And my accounting equation does balance. Plus one five minus one five gives you zero. Zero is equal to no effect on equity or liabilities.